Hey everybody. So I'm pretty excited about this one today. We are going to unbox and review this pepper gun. Um, this is prepared to protect by T4E. So T4E is the brand. I know nothing about them. It's probably just some Chinese brand. So yeah, this is your standard pepper gun. It's a 50 caliber CO2 powered pepper round pistol. It's got a velocity of 375 feet per second, and it comes with 10 practice rubber rounds, and then 10 less than lethal pepper rounds. And one of the things that's interesting is this is actually marketed as a self-defense weapon. So right here, be prepared to protect your family, your property, your life. Effective at twice the distance of most personal defense pepper sprays. A practical solution for personal and family protection, multi-shot long range, and legal to carry. Asterix, this is not legal to carry everywhere. So you check with your local laws. And if you're not familiar with what a pepper gun is, pretty much it's like a paintball gun. It shoots about the same size round as a paintball, except in one of these projectiles, it's holding essentially pepper spray powder so if you were to say break that open in your room you would be in a lot of pain and suffering for a while um, just not being able to breathe and eyes watering and itching and just a lot of pain it's like a biological spicy food it's like getting spicy foods in your eye um, and so Law enforcement actually uses these type of weapons, um, especially in prisons, where they don't want any real firearms, and it, it can it definitely can be effective. It it's clearly not. A firearm if it's a life or death situation you want a firearm right you know that's gonna actually protect you and your family but this is an alternative um, it's less than lethal you know if you're willing to take the risk and not you know end someone else's life to protect yours and this is what you know you can get and it has saved a lot of lives um, you could I've seen countless stories of armed people actually being taken down by one of these and then being apprehended while using something like this. So a lot of states want police officers to carry something like this. Just in case, like if it's a suicide by cop, guy's got a knife, maybe he could, you know, shoot this, hit him in the face with it, and he's blind. And then he can arrest him and save the man's life. Um, so yeah, so it's kind of, you're going to get mixed reviews when you ask people about pepper guns. Um, and also, there's another brand called Byrna. Byrna? It's B-Y-R-N-A, and they sell something that's very similar to this. That one may have been out first before this one. This may be the cheaper copycat version. But the Byrna one that you can get is $500, which probably has its benefits. It's probably better. I know that the Byrna has a larger caliber. Um, but I don't have $500 to spend on a pepper gun, so I ended up getting this one. It's probably an off-brand because I've never heard of T4E. And this was just over $100 on Amazon. You can get this off Amazon. And so on the back, it comes with a cleaning squeegee, whatever, to clean the barrel, maybe? What, well, duh! Um, Six-round capacity. It's got your velocity built-in Picatinny rail. rail. So you can put your lights and lasers, which is absolutely overkill. This is something that I thought was cool. CO2 activation system. So it houses your sealed CO2 capsule. So within a split second tap, you can activate it and ready to be fired. So pretty much what you don't want to do with air guns is leave a pierced CO2 cartridge with all the pressure inside, you know, thinking that you're ready all the time. Because what will happen is that constant pressure will damage the seals. At least that's what I've heard, is you don't want to leave a pierced CO2 cartridge inside of any air gun besides PCP air, but that's different. Um, so essentially you put your 
CO2 cartridge in here, a full one, and you leave it in there, tighten it up, and it's not pierced, but it's ready to go. So when you need it, it sounds like you have to tap it or, or maybe hit it like that, and then it will engage the pressure. So yeah, let's get this opened up, and of course we're gonna do some tests with it and you know, look at the accuracy and and all that stuff. Packaging doesn't look too terrible. Made in Taiwan. And it does not come with CO2 cartridges. It does come with the, the ammunition though, son of a biscuit. And I know it's only 10, it comes with 10 pepper balls. Got it! Um, but you can get more, a lot of people carry that. You can buy them off Amazon and there's a lot of places where you can get pepper balls. Just make sure that you're getting the 50 caliber because like I said, they sell different caliber um, pepper balls. So it looks like the packaging broke. Oh, hopefully not a big deal. Hopefully nothing's broke. We've got staples and plastic. That's my favorite. Sorry, headphone users. All right, let's see how it feels. Oh man, that's pretty heavy. That's a thick ass ball! Yeah, I don't think it's a blowback. Oh, that's cool. These uh, sights glow with the light. Just the light that's around you. So at nighttime, that obviously wouldn't be lit up, but that's pretty neat. All those sights, uh, they're really bright. Okay. You got a spring right there. So it's not a blowback. I don't know how to use this at all. Hopefully we got some instructions. Okay, there's an Allen wrench. There's a sticker, and these are the pepper rounds. They do have an expiration date. Pepper balls are not toys. They're to be used for self-protection or protection of others. Your MX T40 pepper ball pistol keep away from children. Misuse may cause serious injury, including blindness or death. Some people exposed in these chemicals will have extreme difficulty breathing, <laughs> which can cause death. <coughs> oh shit! Read owner's manual. Okay. Yep, so they're in, t in a tube. So these can kill. See, these aren't non lethal alternatives, these are called less than lethals for a reason. They're less, less than lethal, but things can happen, right? People can have an allergic reaction to the powder. You know, someone can get shot, go blind, and then fall down a flight of stairs. So yeah, I absolutely agree that unless you're freaking Houston Jones. Then you probably shouldn't be messing around with something like this, man. And then register your product. I like that, that you could register it. 10 powder, 10 pepper. So they got powder balls too, just for practice powder rounds. We didn't get any practice powder in this pack. We only got the rubber and the pepper. Um, so these are the rubber. Rubber balls are in there. So you register your product. This is not a toy, only for self-protection and protection of others. Um, eye protection should be worn when possible. Yeah, something like a big rubber ball right in your freaking eye, even just the practice ones, that could really f*** you up. Like, pepper round pistols differ in their operation and you are never ready to fire any gun until you are thoroughly familiar with it. Read the following owner's manual. Always treat the pepperon pistol as though it is loaded with the same respect you would with a firearm. 
Nice. So if you do get this, I would recommend reading it, all of it, because there's little things that you think you know, and then, does it have lube? It didn't come with lube. It's calling for lube. Uh, I have like a beard clipper lube. So it says you need to lube it. Use only flawless 50 caliber rubber rounds. Do not attempt to reuse projectiles that are deformed. Projectiles of the So yeah, that's kind of one thing I was... We're not going to be able to shoot it that many times because if you damage one of these rubber rounds and then try to shoot it again, it could screw up your gun and start jamming. So let's see what these rubber rounds look like. Making quite a pile of crap. So yeah, these are much smaller than paintballs. Yeah, that's solid rubber. There's no give in that. <sighs> to ensure proper function, apply one or two drops of RWS into all moving parts, such as the quick piercing screw and the trigger hinge. I wish it would've came with the fucking lube. That is so damn important that nobody in the freaking world has. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Then I assume you. So the safety is literally the trigger right there. Get the Allen wrench. So overall, it's pretty cool. I mean. I'm not used to loading CO2 cartridges upside down like that. That's really funky. So I assume you drop your CO2 in there. You, you tighten it on with this. I don't know what that's trying to tell me to do. Oh, this is going to tell you when it's charged. You know what? I am going to get some lube real quick. I don't have RWS lube, but I think I have some beard, like a beard trimmer the, the type of lube. So I'm going to do that real quick. I don't want to fuck it up. Okay, so after some brief research, I found out that you don't just want to put any type of lube onto your seals because it could damage the rubber seals which sounds like it would be a pain in the butt to replace so it looks like it is a little greasy from the factory so that's a plus um, so in the future you're going to want to get a specific type of lubricant um, silicone based I think the manual recommends a um, RWS air chamber lube RWS is literally just a brand for air pistols, but from what I can gather, it's um, silicone based. So let's get this loaded up and ready to fire. Like I said, it appears to be pre-lubed. So you do that part by hand and then you put your Allen wrench in here. Allen wrench in here. Okay, that seems tight enough. And then when you're ready, you just let's put some ammo in. This hole right here. One, two, three, four five, six. Six round capacity. Let your spring go back. And I'm a little nervous, but I'm gonna push on this and it should pierce it and we should be charged finger off the trigger when you're charging it. Okay, and when it's charged, 
this pin is going to stick out right here. See that? Right there. This is going to let you know that this weapon is ready to fire. Um, so that's kind of cool. That pops out. There's a better look at your sights too. And remember this pepper gun does not have a safety, a traditional safety that you just do and then the trigger won't pull. The safety is literally that. Once that's pressed down, you're ready to fire. So that's a little scary. Um, but yeah, let's let's see what kind of grouping we can get in terms of accuracy. And then we'll go from there. All right, so we're about 30 feet away from the target and I just wanted to see what type of grouping we could get. And let's take a look. And remember, safety first, always wear eye protection. And we're shooting at cardboard at about 30 feet away. That was very loud. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> All right, so overall first impressions I'm pretty impressed this is pretty nice and especially with the price point you know the price is there with just around a hundred dollars um, yeah it's it's pretty neat I mean clearly this is not bulletproof pardon the pun like there are some scenarios in which this you know is probably not going to be very effective um, one of which may just be someone wearing a very puffy jacket. Um, I could see these pepper balls, you know, just maybe not breaking on impact or something like that. But to be fair, I mean, it, it, it's it been used before and it's worked. Oh, those are pretty, oh, pretty cool looking. It's like a little plastic, but it's filled with powder. Uh, another thing it said is when you're loading the pepper balls that these can break so you just gotta nice and gently two three four five six and you don't want the spring to go back and smack it hard so you want to manually boop, let it just rest on there just like that because having one rupture in there oh my god it gives me the heebie-jeebies just messing with the shit in my house um but yeah it comes with 10 rounds six in the magazine uh another thing i wanted to point out was this trigger pull it's not hard it's not heavy but it's very long um, so you gotta pull, 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 pull until you're all the way back and then it fires. But besides that, it's it's pretty cool, man. I like it. it. I've never owned one of these before, but I've seen them and, and it's pretty good. Alright, so that's about it. Remember to hit that like button, subscribe, and recommend more content. You know, what do you want to see? You know, what's gonna bring you guys back? And I'm always open for opinions on, you know, what you guys would like to see because I've just been uploading a lot of random stuff you know that I would do either way you know I would be buying these things regardless but yeah let me know what you guys want to see and that's about it hit like subscribe thanks again have a great day